Once you've finished your movie masterpiece, you might like to record a narration to accompany it. So in this tutorial, we're going to look at how you record a voiceover. So I've got a little video here, which is a video on Melbourne and Australian rules football. And I want to add a voiceover just to this clip here. We'll keep the original audio from this clip, which is actual uh, commentary from the game. So I'm going to keep that. I've added a sound effect to this clip, so I've actually turned the audio down on this clip here and added some stadium noise to this one. On this clip, it's just the original background noise, just a helicopter as it flies over. The background music, I've split it into two just so I can have a bit more control over what happens in this section here. So when you're recording a voiceover, there is a microphone here, so you click the microphone, and it gives you some controls here. Now the level here, this one here, is indicated by the volume of the microphone that you've got selected as your input source. So as I speak louder and see it go to red, or I start to speak too loud and it starts going orange and red, and once it hits that orange and red, then your voice is clipping and it will be distorted. So it indicates your microphone level is too loud because I'm not, I'm not speaking that loud, but every now and again one word might be too loud for the microphone. Now this is the microphone selection. So when you click this button, this is the microphone that it's using. It's using the built-in microphone on my computer, which isn't going to give the best sound quality. And the microphone is set at 100%. Now if I turn that down so I can try and adjust the level, so as I'm speaking and I go higher, it's not going into that red, so that's a better level. I'm going to leave it at 100% just so we can see what happens. Now you can mute the rest of the project there. And you can select a different microphone if you had one. So I could select my webcam microphone. I'm going to, I'm going to leave it at built-in microphone because what I would rather do is record my audio with my iPhone. So while I'm sitting here, I've got my iPhone attached to my microphone, which is an, an iRig HD, but you could use something like a, a Blue Yeti, or a Snowball, any of those microphones might be better, or will be better than the built-in microphone. And what I do is then export that audio uh, into my computer and then drag it into iMovie, which gives me a better audio result. And I might play with that audio first by um, importing it into a, an audio editor like Audacity or Adobe Audition. So once you've got your settings right, you can click away. You're going to position your playhead where you'd like the audio to commence from. So I want it to start from about here, beginning of that clip. Try and move it there. And once I start, the, when I click the red button, it's going to count down that audio and it's going to move back a few spots. So it's going to count down from here. So it gives you time to uh, get the countdown out of the way, get you set and get you ready to start recording. Now what you want to record is a voiceover. So either you're going to do it off the top of your head. So as you're watching the video, you're looking at what's being played on the screen and you're talking to it or you can do a script and I chose to do a script and then take a screen capture of that script which is now an image and then I can just drag that image into my event which is this one so when I click that I can see the script I can be looking at the screen as the movie plays and talk to it rather than having a script on a bit of paper which is crackling or rat or, or you're moving it or you're, you're looking down so you can't really see what's going on and you can't pace yourself to speak to the movie. I want to see the movie but I can read it here. Let's record and see what happens. So click the record button and it goes backwards, starts the countdown. The football season culminates in the biggest day of the Australian sporting calendar when over 90,000 passionate fans fill the stands of the MCG to watch the two best teams play off in the grand final. Click the stop button. 
And you can see on this video, it has some little yellow and red peaks there. So it has distorted where I've spoken too high. And it gives the attached audio, the VO title. So VO, the, the VO extension, so voiceover one. So I could have many voiceovers. I could have a voiceover for this section of text. Then I could click onto this one and do another voiceover. So you haven't got one long voiceover. You just split them into your different clips. Just listen to this. I'm going to turn the background sound down. The football season culminates in the biggest day of the Australian sporting calendar, when over 90,000 passionate fans... Now you can hear that that sounds really tinny and, and very echoey and a bit distorted in places, so the, the, the built-in microphone really hasn't done this movie justice. And I don't think I'd want to use it. Um, and I'll delete it in a second and bring in some other audio. With the voice over clip, though, you can move it wherever you want. So I want it to start at the beginning of the clip, but I could move it here and still have the music in as we, we go through. So I'm going to delete it and then bring in the other audio, which is here, and drag that in and attach it to the beginning. When I brought that clip in, you can see everything sort of muted. It doesn't seem to work. So you need to make sure, I click that clip, go into audio, that you haven't got ducking turned on because that's going to lower the volume of all the clips and let the audio of this clip be the one that's heard, which I don't want. So I'm going to turn that off. So let's turn that down and listen to this one. Season. <clears throat> the football season culminates in the biggest day of the Australian sport. So it does sound a lot better and there are no um, clipping, there's no peaks in that audio, there's no yellow, there's no red at all. There is a mistake though. <clears throat> so I'm going to cl click the audio at this point and right and right click and split that clip and delete the beginning. Move it up. Season culminates in the The football season culminates in the biggest day of the Australian sporting calendar, when over ninety thousand passionate fans fill the stands of the MCG to watch the two best teams play off in the AFL grand final. And now there's dead air there, so I can split the clip about here and delete that one. And then we can just bring that up to its normal levels. Maybe bring the background up slightly. It's a bit loud, so select that clip, then the audio, and I can adjust it from here. I've got a bit more control. So let's make it about 9%. The football season culminates in the biggest day of the Australian. Still too loud. So I want that really low. Go to 4. season culminates in the biggest day of the Australian sporting calendar. Which sounds a bit better. I can fade that one in and out. Fade that one in. So I can't really go much. I'm at 4%. Be 1%. The football season culminates in the biggest day of the Australian sporting calendar. So you can muck around with that until you've got it right. When you've finished, click done. So to, to summarise what we've looked at, the, the main thing you have to get right with voiceovers is your choice of microphone, your sound levels, and your script, if you're going to use one. Have all this organised before you even start recording. So that's all for this tutorial.